welcome back to Trailer Tales. Uh, I'm your host, Dave Gunther, and it's been a hot minute since you've seen the both of us. It's been a minute. Yeah. Thanks for having me back. Yeah. How long has it been, Tammy? Uh, It's been a couple years. Yeah, it's been a couple years. And Okay, don't get mad at me. Let me tell you why. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Just, okay. Yeah, just go ahead. Okay, here's what happened. Last time I was on your uh, little show here. Excuse me? I got home. Or your little uh, program that you got going on here. Yeah, it's called a, it's called a podcast. Okay, podcast. Yeah. I got home, okay, and what did you do? You sent me a picture of your wiener. It was a thank you for coming. And I, and I, and I took that as a thank you. I took that as a thank you. Isn't that a nice gesture? Yes, it is. And hear me out, okay? Daryl saw it. And listen, normally he don't care that men send me pictures of their wiener. He, he don't care. But he knew that you and I had history, and he saw red, okay? And he took my phone and blocked your number, okay? And deleted your contact. So how, how was I? I didn't memorize your damn phone number from when you gave it to me an hour before. So that's that's what's been going on. Daryl did me dirty like that. He did you dirty. Okay. Yeah, he did. He was not happy that you sent me pictures of your winner, saying, "Oh, it's bigger than mine," and he was all mad about that. That was a whole yeah. that's, that's, I had to deal with that. So yeah, man, I that that's why. Okay, well, yeah, it has been two years since we've done this, and I've been trying to get you on the guest. I've been texting. I've been calling. I faxed a few times. I even looked up your MySpace. I tried to get in your DMs. I've tried about every form of communication. I hired a carrier pigeon service. Well, guess what? I ain't got no fax machine. So you wasted your time there. <laughs> fax. Big time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, do you like the studio that I rented out for this? It's, hey, it's nice. Thank you. And I'm, I'm able to put my legs up. That's nice. How about nice. the chairs? That's really nice. Yeah. It That's takes, really nice. Uh, once you get started, it takes a minute to get comfortable. Yeah, again. you gotta find your you gotta yeah. find exactly the way your body lays. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. I'm gonna try back here for a minute. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I might join you. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. So what have you been doing for fucking two years, man? Well, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I started working at a gas station again. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I also heard you did a little stint in okay. prison. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to talk about the porn, but yeah. <laughs> I ain't heard about that, man. Okay, well, that was, I ain't heard about that's that. between me and the lips of God, okay? You're going to have to send me the link on that. Okay. <laughs> well, don't show Daryl. He'll get pissed I again. I won't. <laughs> Trust me, I won't. <laughs> Everything all right? Oh, yeah. I'm just getting, yeah. People right. are texting me. <laughs> you know, it has been a couple years, and uh, I had to save up for a long time so I could rent out a studio, and the things that I've been saving my money for are the studio so we could do another show together and then i got some new boots and some new socks. those are nice those are nice looks like you got those at target How did or you? somewhere like that because they look silky yeah that's they where i got silky. them they look like you you spent money on them huh bullseye <laughs> <laughs> hey i want to yeah. bring something up okay do you remember that time when we grew up, and listen, if people are watching this, they don't know that you and I grew up together, but we're yeah. not we're not brother and sister. No, it's like the same, like in the same neighborhood. We grew up in the same trailer it's park. It's the same trailer park, yeah. Do you remember, and I forgot about this until mm. you hit me up wanting me to do your program again. Do you remember when your dad beat my dad's ass because you guys had got a new swing set? And you invited me over. You and your brother invited me over to swing on your swing set. And what happened? Your fat ass broke the swing <laughs> set. My fat ass broke the swing set. <laughs> yeah. One of the chains off on the left side of the chain Just here, ripped it right off. Ripped it right off. Yeah. Okay. And I was mortified. Okay. Because I wanted to fuck you and your brother. And I was mortified. And you and your brother were making fun of me. Anyway, long story short, your dad... Goes to my dad saying, your fat ass daughter broke my new swing set and my dad wasn't having that. And they got into a fist fight. Well, I mean, kind of deservedly so because like if, you know, like if that was being thrown around, like I'd be a little offended. Like, like yeah. if that was be saying about my daughter, you right. know, exactly. 
And rightfully so. Like, I always thought it, but I never said it out loud. You right, know what I mean? Right, right. Well, I guess that comes out of you if you if you spend money on something like a swing set. Yeah. And some fat-ass little girl comes over and, and fucking, you know, breaks it. I with, mean, and y'all, y'all just got it put up. Your dad just got the bolts in it. Oh, I know. He had just tightened them, and then you come running over, <laughs> wanted to test out that new swing set. And guess what? It was not Tammy approved. Well, nobody in the trailer park had it. Y'all were the first ones with a swing set. Yeah. And I did feel like kind of like a rich kid, like yeah. like I felt like almost like a little uppity, like compared to like what others had in the trailer park. But well, you know, you were acting that way too. You think it went to my head that fast? I know it went to your head. Really? Because give me an example how to go to my head. Well, first off, when I walked over there and you said, "Ha ha, we got a swing set and you don't," that kind of set it off. That checks out. <laughs> <laughs> it pissed me off, but I really wanted to swing on the swing. Wait, set. so did you break that swing out of damn spite? No. Did I'm, you? Did you know? Because you, you know, you like like light as a feather, stiff as a board. We've all heard that expression. I'm gonna be honest with you. At that time, light as a feather, big as a board. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At that time, I had a hundred pounds on y'all. So yeah. they really was the 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 chain really did break. Well, naturally. they did. They were trying to get you to play center for the football team at high school. Right, right, right. But then you're like, no, I don't want to do that. Well, because I wanted to fuck everybody on the team. That's a whole... We don't got to... I, and I ended up fucking half the team, but that's a whole nother... We don't even got to talk about that. Yeah. But no, I did not end up playing football. I don't know how to play football. What's a tackle? I, I mean... Beats me. I mean, exactly. I, I didn't. You know, I I didn't have enough money to like for the gear. Exactly. You know, Same. for the equipment. You know, that's Same. a lot. But I remember our dads got into a scuffle. A fight, if you will. The, well, everybody in the trailer park came out to watch. It was like watching WWE. It was like before World Star when people had their phones and stuff out like that. That was just a typical Tuesday in the trailer park. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So that was a memory I had. That was cool. I wanted to bring up. Yeah. When our dads beat each other's asses. Yeah. It was about 50-50. Remember when our moms really went at it? My mom pulled a gun on your mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, your mom used to do that. She was a bitch. Yeah. And she was a heavily on drugs. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So sometimes she would feel, you know, she sees one Denzel Washington movie, King Kong ain't got nothing on me, starts firing shots in the air, she starts going after your mom. It's a wild affair. I do remember that. Do you have somewhere better to be? No, man, my... My cousin Crystal, she drove me here. She's over there in the corner, keeps fucking texting me. She's saying, oh, Tammy, he's so hot. I want to fuck him. Talking about you. Me? You're the only per- other person in here. Crystal, are you talking about him? She's talking about you. I mean. She wants to fuck you. <laughs> well, then maybe bring her over. Cri- Crystal. Hey, get over here. You want to be on this little program? She's coming. You know, when you call it little, like, I know it's not as big as what you're doing. Well, how all many right? views you getting? We're, like, breaking the hundreds, okay? Okay. Okay? All right, that's mediocre. That's my cousin, Crystal. Mediocre. That's my cousin, Crystal. Well, well, well. Look what the Doberman dragged in. Crystal, is your heart pounding? My heart is pounding. My pussy's throbbing. I've never seen her so horny, dude. You all right? And I remember you. I remember you. You remember, what do you mean you remember me? I remember you. You and Tammy used to play all the time. She's my older cousin, Crystal. She was in high school when we were little. Crystal? You're Crystal? Crystal. That's Crystal. That's me. Yep, that's her. Of course, she was a child then, but I remember you. Mm -hmm. And that story you tell telling about the swing set, I remember that, but I got redemption. What did you do? Johnny Marlowe. (laughs) Remember that little slide, the little slide? Yeah. I banged Johnny Marlowe on that. We on the slide? That thing got flatter than the pancake. Crystal, on his swing set? On his you swing set. You were fucking set. Johnny? Nobody talks about Tammy like that. Thank you, Chris. She's got my back. So that was like a revenge fuck? Revenge. She's really always been there for me, doing sweet things like that for me all the time. My whole life. Where Did his loads go down the slide into you? They just went into me. Okay. That would have been cool, though. Wouldn't that just the visual like, whoa, you know, like coming, going down the slide, like right in her? That would have been really cool. Yeah. Crystal, do you remember that guy I was telling you about? And I said this on a mukbang we did a while back, that that guy who fingered me for the very first time, remember me telling you that story? That was you? That's him. Let me see your fingers. Let me see. (laughs) That was in me. That's Still smells like her. (laughs) Come on now. That's a good year, isn't it? That's a good year. Come on now. 
Oh my yep. god. Yep. Cod and all rotten. You still what I say. You still squirting? It depend. I'm gonna be honest with you. It it really depends on the setting. Uh, the mood and the circumference of whatever's inside of me. Circumference. Well, uh, the thickness. Okay, Miss Ivy uh, League. <laughs> well, it, it just it really depends. Used to I could just you know just snap my fingers and just squirt, and now I really got to uh, Everything has to be right. Mm. I don't know. I don't you got to put on the right music. You got to be in the right kind of mood. Exactly. What about you? You nut a lot. I I do nut a lot, but put me on a waterbed. Waves. So, I mean, they call me Crystal Waves. Crystal Waves. But that's not her last name. That's just what they call her. They don't call me that because they call me because of waves. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? I like to swim. Hope you got a a swimming jacket. What's the life jacket? Life jacket. Swimming jacket? You're about to drown in these waters, young man. Let's just say there's high tide and I don't want the lifeguard to come save me. Let's just say you better find a buoy because you're about to bounce on these waves. Let's just say I'm a fisherman and I'm going deep sea diving. Let's just say I hope you like tuna because my pussy smells like tuna. Let's just say I like it. The fish and pussies. Let's just say I hope your name's Moby Dick because I'm about to eat you like a whale and spit you out. Let's just say, I hope you need a best friend, because I could call you Free Willy. Let's just say, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming when you see the water coming out of my pussy gushing. Let's just say, da-da, da-da. That was a good one. You hear that, Tammy? I'm over here. Tammy! Tammy's embarrassed. She's never seen it's, me flirting like this. It's like watching the be- a beginning of a porno movie is what I just saw live. And it made me tear up with how horny you are. I can't believe what a man you grew up to. I can't believe how much older and finer like wine you've aged. And believe me, I had lots of practice getting ready for you. Like oh, what? She's fucking a new guy every night. You talk about threesomes, foursomes, fivesomes, gang bang, muck bang, circle jerk. All of them. She's done it and she does it. Hey, you're looking like a virgin yeah. compared to your cousin I, Crystal. And I, and I'm, and I, <laughs> she, she, she just compared herself to being I, I, ran by trains and <laughs> all kind of gang bangs and stuff like that. And I've always said that because you know I've always been horny and I've always, you know, when we were little. So I was at a love for it. And I've always like showed you my pussy and everybody else and stuff. And I've always been real hey, horny. Hey, can I just say thank you? Like, thank you for being a friend. Like, that's the kind of friend that I want in my life and every guy well, wants in his life. We traveled down the road and back again. You are preaching the good word right now. Well, it's just, and you know, you got to do nice things for people. Yeah. And I knew you were down, and I knew that you'd never seen a pussy. Well, that was the thing. Like, anytime I got really depressed, you know what you say? You're like, come on. Come on over here. You know? And I really never let you touch it first. I really wanted to tease you. That's my, and I still do that to men. That's my thing. You know, I love to tease. I never let you touch. Yeah, you'd get behind a window like you were an animal in the zoo. And then, like, you'd make me tap on the glass. And then you'd, like, get real angry. And then you would, like, hit me, like, through the glass. And I did. Then, you know, then you show me a little flap. Yep. And then when we finally, I got behind the glass and it was, you know, face to face. When you go to touch it, I just, I would literally just elbow the fuck out of you. Yeah. You know? Because I thought I was somehow, for whatever, going to get a taste through the glass. Never worked out. No. No. Never you eventually out. did. But at first, I really made you work for it. Mm-hmm. But I don't even know where I was fucking going with this, to be honest with you. Um, but, you, you, oh, you know I've always been horny. She's trying to tell you everything she knows I taught her. Exactly. Everything. So I remember, and I'm not going to lie to you, I remember coming to her one day, and I said, Crystal, there's a boy in the in the trailer park, and he's he's being mean to me, and he's not, and it was you, by the way. Mm-hmm. And I think it's because he's flirting. Yeah, you that's know, what, that's what kids do. You know, whenever you get, you're get getting kind of, like, angry or, like, mad about somebody, the way they're treating you, probably because they like you, probably because they want to see your pussy. Exactly. And that's what Crystal told me. She's always been real wise like that. That's what she told me. And she said, just, you know, if you feel comfortable enough, just, you know, spread your legs. Mm. She did tell me that. And she said wide. 
And I did. <laughs> it's just making me choke up a little bit. It makes me choke up to see the skills that I taught her being used. Right. Crystal, if your pussy could say anything right now, what would it say? It would probably whisper, come to me, come to me, come to me, but not come in me, just come to me, and the rest would be silence. Everything all guard goes yeah, down Yeah, 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 I'm trying to get comfortable. <laughs> I'm trying to get comfortable. Yeah, it's I'm just good. Like, it's kind of like Pringles. Once you you start, the fun don't stop. Whatever the fuck that expression exactly. is. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Tammy makes a lot of money now. Yeah, can we talk about that? Because Wait, hold on. And we can afford chairs like this, but she's humble. Yeah. She don't get a lazy boy. She gets a recliner from Big Lots because yeah. it's $178. Yeah. But she's making money where she can buy a lazy boy. Listen, okay, I, could, I could buy a lazy boy... And pay cash for it. What the hell? But I don't... things Doing things like that changes people. And I'm really trying to stay humble. That's something Crystal taught me. You know, when, when my fame started rising and my YouTube started rising and I started making uh, $5,000 a month. The last time that we spoke a couple years ago, it was only around three grand. i am up to five grand a month. Tammy, Tammy, On Tammy. On my YouTube. Can you just... What is it like? Well, that it's nice, but that's what I'm talking What's about. What's it like to 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 go past your haters and just smile and just wave goodbye and leave them in the dust? All the people that didn't believe you exactly. or believe in you in grade school or high school or Well, I wave goodbye as I'm walking past them on my way to another tax bracket. That's what I'm doing. But I'm trying to remain who I am and who I've always been. And who is that? Someone who doesn't pay cash for a lazy boy. And that's respectable right there. Someone who goes to rent a center mm. and pays monthly. Mm. And I'll never not be that person mm. because of how I was raised by her. Thank you. Thank you for your service. It, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make. I didn't. I make. I didn't mean to make you cry, Crystal. But it's true, you know. And yeah. everything I know about blowjobs and stuff, right there. So you think I'm good at it? Wait till you get a hold of her tonight. And wait till you get a hold of this mouth. Cause tell them why. Look, these teeth on the top are real. These top, these teeth right here come right out. Pop out. She'll give you a you gummy. You ever had a half a gummy? You'll be halfway to heaven. You Never. Ever heard, you ever heard that song, Halfway to Heaven? Halfway to Heaven? No. How's they it go? Her, they wrote it about her. Yep. The Eagles. Halfway to heaven. Written about her. You feel me in your mouth when you're halfway to heaven. That was off the Eagles' first album. The lead singer, what's his name? Joe Walsh. Oh, uh, that's the, well... She fucked him too, but the uh, the main guy I forgot his name. Anyway, she fucked him, and he wrote the song about her. And wow. you might be looking at me saying, "Well, you you ain't all that cute." Remember what I, I used to I've look like? I've never said that. Well, I'm just assuming. Ain't nobody said that. He wants to fuck you. He's yeah. got a chubby. If somebody as good looking as you that find me attractive? Hell yeah, I do. I'm blown away. Really? I'm blown away. Crystal, she's trying. She's fucking with you. That she's got fucking tens lined up for her. Outside of our fucking house, we've got men in our front yard asking to fuck her. Aren't those just the landscapers? Yeah, but they still want to fuck her. Okay. Remember uh, Eric Estrada from the show hit show Chips? I fucked him. He'll Chip. never admit to it. That's a reference I know is probably impressive, but I don't remember that. Really good Mexican guy off of who played a cop. Oh, okay. Wow. You're really good looking. So you one. got you got it like that. What would you do? What would you do to me if you had me for one night? Oh God, Crystal, go go ahead. Come on, oh come on, God. explain it. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. I'd start on the hair, just caressing and loving the hair, and I'd whisper in your ear, "You want some of this sweet ass?" And of course, you'd say, "Yes." Can they hear it on the TV if I'm whispering? 
I think so. Yeah. Can you guys hear it? Can you guys hear it when she whispers into the microphone? Testing, testing. Yeah. I think they can hear it, Crystal. And then I'd work my way down to your mouth, and we would probably tongue kiss. Now, I wouldn't take my teeth out yet, because generally a man your age would sort of not be ready for something like that. I'd go down your chest like this. Yep, all the way down to the belly button, where I just give it a little, like, I'm not going to do it now because you'll squirt. You, and you will squirt. Come on. Touch, touch my belly button <laughs> real quick. Oh, gosh, you're going to lick it. Ooh. Ooh. See, I'm trembling to yeah. give you excitement. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And listen, Ooh. If, you, if you think you're going to get a threesome with us, that's my cousin. We don't do threesomes. Why not? That's blood. Yeah, and listen, come. Listen, we're nasty, but we're not that nasty. <laughs> I know I know. you think he's going to get a threesome tonight, and you're not. Damn. That's why I got these chairs. He can't find the button. No, 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 That's I can find the button. Side. I can he, find the button. Hey, the... I can on. find the button. Hold on, you couldn't find... I can find the button on the oh, side of the Lazy Boy. God. See? Oh, yeah. You going to be able to find her clit? Because she's got a lot of layers and a lot of lips down there. A lot of layers and lips. About this big. That big. That's my clit size. The size of the pinky? The end of it. The whole tip of it. The whole tip? And you're going to want to spread the first layer. Yeah. How deep is this thing? Wait till you get up in there. She like, I know that you have different like rooms and different like apartments and stuff like that. It's kind of like a complex. Is it like that? She wasn't lying when she, when she said you're going fishing. Fishing for pussy. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. We're here to say all bodies are good bodies, even bodies that have larger than normal lip structure. Right. Stru and I have a structure that is large. And it runs in our family, but she's got the biggest one out of all of us. Really? Yeah. You're the yeah. alpha, huh? You're really going to do some investigating tonight. You're really going to feel like... What are those people that go down into the oceans and they use and they use the Russell, submarines? Russell Caruso. You're gonna Scubas. feel like you're gonna feel like a scuba diver. A scuba diver. Russell Caruso. Ru Russell Caruso. Robinson Caruso. Yes, he was a deep sea diver. Let's just say you're gonna need an anchor because you're gonna be there a while. Put your anchor down, just like Johnny Depp did in uh, Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean. Tide. Oh, I was, I was maybe that's it. Pirates of the Titanic. I Something think that's like that. two different movies. Oh. Anyway, he put his anchor down and went on a search. And that's what you're going to be doing tonight. But when you get to the end of the search, guess what's going to be there? A golden treasure with jewels inside. And that jewel is my clip. You need a treasure map? I got it written down on my phone. Yeah, please. please. X marks the spot. I'll airdrop it to you. I'm just... Can, let me just explain what's going on in my head right now. Go ahead. There's a lot of estrogen that's swirling around me right now, and it's a lot to take in. Are you getting comfortable or what? Yeah, I just need to... Go ahead. There's a lot of women on each side of me, and it's really hard to restrain myself and be professional on this Trailer Tales episode. You know, I came for one thing. And What'd you come I'm... for? Well... Be honest. To rekindle our friendship and see where it goes. Okay. Chew you out a little bit because I felt like you had okay. changed. Okay. Okay. I felt like you changed, and it's hard for me as a man to not put my ego to the side yeah. and let you know what I really think of you. Well, you came off as a bit of a bitch. And, and I know that, but now that you know the story, you know I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know what though? She has to have a tough exterior yeah. because if she didn't, Thank these you. people would chew her up and spit her out and not in a good way. All right. So inside, you'll find nothing but love yeah. and integrity. Yeah. Outside, you're going to find a steel. But what, that protects her. What if I chewed you up and spit you out, huh? What would you do? I'm not going to lie. I'd probably gush everywhere all over your face and beard. Probably get some in your... Hair too. Our grandma used to squirt. So that's where, that's where she gets it from. That's where I got it from. Literally runs in the family. It literally runs in the family. And it, you, when you when you smell the gush, you might say, "Well, that just smells like urine." 
It's not. It's gush. It's gush. There's a difference. There's a difference. And people out there that say, oh, squirt's just pee. You've never experienced squirt on either end. So don't sit there and fucking tell me it's pee when I know damn well it's squirt. And that's a PSA for everybody who's listening that's ever watched something and thought to themselves, that's just pee. Guess what? Squirt is squirt and pee is pee. That's the dumbest thing you can say is pee's just squirt. You're uneducated. And you're ignorant. Can I get up for a second? Yeah. You hear something. A little raccoon or something in your house. Yeah, there's some kind of something scampering around. What's going on? In, can you let us know what's going on? Crystal. Crystal, are you okay? Do you have a dog? No, we're in the studio. I have no idea what's going on. There's what? a little dog in here. What the hell's going on? There's a little dog in there. Is it really a dog? Or maybe it's a cat. Is it a stray? <laughs> you can't tell the difference between a dog and a cat? Well, she ain't got her bifocals on. I can't tell. Why did you just get so pissed at me? She's wearing glasses on her damn head. Because she can see the difference between a cat and a dog. But when you don't have your bifocals on, it's still... That was one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. Is that a dog or a cat? I mean, come on. Is that a dog or a cat? <laughs> Lots of dogs and cats look the same. If you're not wearing your bifocals. Yeah. Yeah. And these are just my regular reading glasses. What's the difference between a bifocal and a reading glass? Those are reading glasses she just got at the Walmart. Bifocals at the bottom got an extra. So she could, So if she was looking at a, if she was looking at the dog, she could just go up like this, and she could really see what it was. Are bifocals men or women can wear them? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know why you're asking me all these questions. You have an errant dog in your house, and you don't even have a damn dog. I don't still. I don't see the. I that don't see is the a dog. That's a damn cat. That's that the, is a stray that got in here. That's the alley cat. I saw it out back when I drove up. It's right there. Yeah. Well, she acts like she lives. Well, come on over here then. If come you're on. gonna if you're gonna steal the show, what the hell's going on? Hey, Crystal, that is a cat. That is a cat. It, it is a cat. It's so clearly it, a cat. It, it, well, damn. you said it was a dog, and and. and <laughs> It was dark down there in his hallway. Well, and I I had your back, and now I feel like an idiot. And that's the thing. That's what we do as family. Yeah. Even when I'm wrong, yep. she says I'm right, and vice versa. Yep. yep. Yeah, I mean, you had your back so much that you looked at a cat and said, that's a dog. Yeah, well, I was hoping you didn't get wouldn't get a clear shot of it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And then you did. I mean, it's clear as rain and right as wrong. Yeah, that that's, is a cat. That's a cat. Yeah. And guess what? You ask me if I know the difference between a dog and cat? I know my pussy, okay? Oh, oh. that was a good one. I know it. Oh, dang. Yeah. Hey, so what do y'all, are y'all going to fuck after this? Or is this going to be just for the program? And then, you know, you're going to go your separate ways. I mean, what's going to go on? What's happening here? Because I wanted to hit up Applebee's after all three of us. Why don't we go to Applebee's and then some of us get some dessert and some of us don't? What you gonna do, Tammy? Well, I'll, I'll go masturbate. I'll go home and go masturbate. Like I do almost every you night. You come pick me back up? Yeah. You ever had sex in Applebee's kitchen before? Uh, I've had sex in the Applebee's parking lot by the dumpster. Mm-hmm. Well, let's just say I'm friends with one of the line cooks, Emilio, and there's a storage drain in the back that's big enough for two people. Is it big enough for her squirt? That I don't know. Just try it anyway. That I don't know. They got squeegees back there. Yeah, yeah, they need to get that squeegee and just start pushing it. Yeah, they got squeegees back there. There's probably a drain on the floor. Oftentimes there are. That's what I'm talking about. You'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But look, I'm not going to... We're not dating if we do it. We're just fucking smart. Let them know the go ahead. Let them know the rules, Crystal. Yeah, what? Are, what are your you're the top, you're the top motherfucker. That, who, who, yeah, tell I'll me tell, what kind tell, of tell, you tell, tell me right now what kind of person I am. Yeah, you tell me right now. Yeah, tell me right now what kind of person I am. Because you come at me rules, I'm gonna come now. Don't you come at me with this? You tell me what kind of person I am. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what kind of motherfucker I am. This is the type of motherfucker that you're gonna give him a little bit of pussy, and he's gonna be. In love with you, following you around everywhere, asking you to marry I'm him. I'm sorry, you gave me one hand job and I got hooked for life, okay? Jesus. I had to damn near get a restraining order from you. 
My and, dad my dad had to whoop your ass. And who won that fight? You did. Yeah. But, you, but you, you didn't leave me alone for a long time. So I, that's the kind of dude he is. So you're going to give him a little bit of pussy? Just, just know. Probably ain't going to be worth it. You're going to want to fall in love. Oh, yeah. Once I pop these teeth out, you're going to want to fall in love. Can you pop your teeth out, Tammy? Not yet, but I cannot wait till the day I get dentures. Mm. I've always said that. Mm. That's going to be a but. Can you call me when that happens? <sighs> you know what? You and I have a lot of history. You were the first guy that ever fingered me. You were the first guy that ever saw my twat. Um, so I'll let you be the first guy I give a gummy to. I will. I will. That's a big step, and I appreciate I'll that. I'll call you. I'll call you. And you know what kind of motherfucker I am? An appreciative one. You're a good friend. You're a good friend. You need to meet Daryl. I still need to meet Daryl. Maybe the next time on, on, on Trailer Tales, if we can hash it out about the wiener pick, how he blocked me for all this time. If, if he ain't in jail, we need to plan it when he gets out. Okay. But yes. Yeah. I think we should do that. We okay. should have Daryl on tra- on your uh, on your podcast program, Trailer yeah. Tales. We need to have Daryl on here. Yeah, no, I, I want to have Daryl on the next time. Yeah. And, you know, Crystal, this could be the start of something special. Or not. I could be the first day of the rest of our lives. I wouldn't go that far, but. Or. Now, Crystal, what if you fall in love? Yeah, you, what if you what if you done, catch feels on this dick, huh? She, what happens couple, then? She's done that a couple times. What happens? I give you two pumps galore, and then you look back and you're like, "Wow, I think I want to take this to the next level. I want to keep him around like a dog cat around the house." It could happen. I swear to God. What, what I would like to suggest, though, is when she gets her dentures, and this is unprecedented because we've never done like nothing like this together. So what I, I, as you were saying, Break the couch? Did I break the couch? Damn it! Damn. We, we burned the motor out. <laughs> Sorry. The Sorry. way your wife beat her is just up a little bit and showing your little your it's, belly. It's a midriff. It's uh. It's what? That's even turning me on. What you need some? You need some cereal out of this thing? That's even turning me on. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. But your crystals tonight. Hey hey ladies look at this. You like? You like what you see? <laughs> Let me sh- show me what would your stomach look like when you're giving me a thrust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hard thrust. Is that camera getting that? Yeah, are we getting this? <laughs> yeah, that's that's. You might fall in love, Crystal. Mm. You might catch some feels. Now, he ain't moving in with us. So don't be coming home saying, oh, Tammy, he had the best dick I've ever had. I want to marry this man. He ain't moving in with us. Tell you that right now. We ain't got no fucking room. We don't have the room for him in our trailer. So don't be thinking you're going to get a free, get free rent. You're going to move in and get free rent because it's not going to happen. You think that I'm just going to try to use my dick to get free rent somewhere? You, you think I'm that low? You have done that you think before? I'm, oh, I've done, done that before? That before? Really? Done I've done that before? You have have done I ever done that before? Have, have, you? Yeah. have you? Yes, I have. I have. Okay. Yeah, I have. Damn. Y'all are, exactly. Y'all are good. You're like clairvoyance oh, or something. I know, oh, I look at a man and I, I know exactly what he's... I know exactly. Mm. Who you are, mm. what type of person you are, mm. what kind of boyfriend you are, mm. what you've done in your past. Mm. Whether and, or not you're going to steal my disability check. Yep, we know it. You 
You get disability? I get disability. I'm a disabled woman. I got rigor mortis in my legs. Had it since I was a child. She has had it since she was a child. So she does uh, get a social security check every month. And that's what pays our rent. Exactly. We knew the type of man you was. Ooh. Free rent, social security. Mm. Cause you, go you in, are bulging up. Could you go into detail more about the rigor mortars? Well, like I said, I was born with it as a child. I was diagnosed as a child. You got it in your legs. With rigor mortis. It causes me chronic pain. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as a child, I got a social security check also for, mm-hmm. you know, because my legs is stiff. You've always had social security. So then when I turned 18, I got an even bit. Hold on. Let me get comfortable. Hold on. Yeah. So when you turned 18. I, that's when I got the adult disability check, not a child one, which supports. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Crystal, that I that I interrupted your. Don't put that microphone in my face again. <laughs> after you farted in it, Crystal don't like farts. She don't like men that fart. Some women do. Some some people are really into the fart sex and the pee sex and stuff. Crystal's not. Are you into fart sex, Tammy? I'll let somebody pee on me, but I don't want you to fart in my mouth when I'm when we're sixty nine in. I mean, that's happened before, and I'll roll through it. I'll roll through it, and I'll get through it, and I'll still get my nut. But it you know, you know, a fart uh, with a sixty-nine, what that's called? Uh-uh. It's a seventy-one. Because there's a little bit of number two in there. That's smart. That's smart. Yeah. That's really smart. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I ain't never heard of that before. Yeah, I got held back three years. That's smart, mm-hmm. and that's what you learned. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for, for coming on Trailer Tales. Um, we really appreciate it. Uh, Crystal, I would like to get to know you a little bit better. Maybe intimately, perhaps. Uh, Crystal, I would, I would use a condom. Why would you say that? Well, I don't like you... condoms. I don't like condoms. I'm just going right. to say that. I just tell people that, but I don't use them. Yeah. Oh, I well, yeah, them. you don't want to come off like that, like right. some kind of dirty girl or something. Just yeah. use the pull-out method. It's guaranteed to work. No. Don't even do that. And I'm not even menstruating anymore, so there ain't no chance of pregnancy. Well, then let them come in you. I've been a man, I've been a man straightened for many years. Right. Yeah. Hey, man, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Let's don't wait another two years that goes by. I would like that. I would appreciate that. I'll have Daryl on. Yeah. The next podcast. Okay. You, know, you guys can hash it out. Okay, great. Damn. All right. Thanks for watching Trailer Tales. This Tammy is Crystal. I'm Dave Gunther. And um bye. Bye guys. Be blessed. Be blessed beyond your comprehension. So say, say it again on the microphone. Be blessed beyond your comprehension. What the hell are you still doing here? Tammy told me to say, you should better subscribe, you better like it, you better comment and then tell some friends.